let's have a chat about Telfar. What is up you guys? I'm so happy to be back uh, filming. I have not been able to get to filming for a few months now, but I think everything has settled down. We are back to regularly scheduled programming and I just wanted to give you guys just some honest to goodness um, gratitude and really thank you guys for your patience and then also welcome new subscribers thank you so much for supporting my channel uh, you all mean so much to me I love uploading videos and I'm hoping that I can get a lot of videos pumped out for you guys uh, the rest of the year so let's get started with my Telfar review so i know that for me telfar is a brand that i was introduced to by chi chi lux chi chi lux i want to say several years ago started uploading uh, review videos on her luxury channel actually i don't think she's chi chi lux anymore i'm gonna put her channel name over here because i know she had a a name change but she was definitely the one that uh, introduced me to Telfar I was not familiar but these bags have had my attention now for a few years now the only reason why I never purchased a bag from Telfar was because of the double strap because I am plus size and I love to crossbody my handbags and so that's something that is a requirement for me of a handbag it has to crossbody and I don't think that the original Telfar designed bags were going to crossbody on me. I honestly nearly purchased the UGG Telfar collaboration last year. I thought that those bags were so stunning and I even considered going off um, the Telfar website because I really really wanted it but I'm glad that I didn't because again that also had the double handles that don't cross body on you know plus size women and I'm also busty on top of that so I just I don't like the way that it cross bodied and um, I'm really glad I waited because this year this one the moment that I saw this I thought this is mine this is happening this is the one that I'm buying so the one that I bought, which you probably saw on the thumbnail already, the Telfar East Pack collaboration. I'm obsessed with this bag. Um, I really loved it in this like amazingly vibrant color. It made me think of like a construction zone. It's just so vibrant. And I, I think that that's really what why I liked it. In addition to the fact that this one does come with a removable crossbody strap i really 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 love this bag um it isn't like I, I i don't know how to describe this bag it's obviously not like an evening bag but it is such a cool little street style bag i just absolutely love it it is way more roomy than it looks if you ever get a uh, telfar bag when you receive it it's going to look surprisingly tiny but they are surprisingly mighty as well i have been very impressed by some of the features that this bag has like the inside pockets i've actually didn't realize how much i missed pockets on handbags i feel that a lot of these like luxury brands tend to sell us like small leather goods so that that's how we organize our bags right and so uh, I remember sometimes having bags with compartments and you know this one just took me back to that and I, I just really really love it it is such a cool little bag now let me talk a little bit about my experience with the Telfar website I know that a lot is said about that and how hard it is to purchase a bag that was not at all my experience with Telfar. I think that the idea with the brand is brilliant. I think that they have a brilliant marketing strategy when it comes to their bags and that's all I'm going to say about that. It is it is brilliant and I get it. I did not have any trouble whatsoever purchasing this bag. I set myself a reminder uh, for the drop time which I hadn't done with any other bag. There were a few bags that I wanted, I'll go ahead and this was one of them um, 
that launched recently I almost I just thought you know what let me just buy it because I really love the color and I didn't set a reminder for myself and by the time that I remembered it was like hours after the drop and so it was not available anymore and again the UGG and Telfar collaboration was another one that I wanted again I did not set myself up to to end up with the bag because I didn't set an, a, a reminder and so this I 100% I did. I was right then and, and ready to purchase the moment that it became available. And so uh, it took about a week for me to get it. I didn't have any glitches with the website whatsoever. It was such an easy process. I don't have um, Apple Pay or anything like that. I was just able to check out with no hiccups whatsoever. And I want to say that I had, I, I have two phones and my other phone because I was kind of torn between this one and the black one I knew that I just could not let this color get away from me I just thought that it, it isn't like a color that I would normally gravitate towards I, I think I generally prefer like a softer yellow but like I said because it reminded me like of a construction zone it just was very utilitarian looking and I just really loved it and so when I checked out of here even like days later on my other phone I still had the black one uh, of these in my cart so I don't know if that was a fluke I never tried checking out because I hadn't really received this one so I wasn't even sure if I was going to like it I actually want to say this also about Telfar I really like his spirit I, I love what what he's doing with his brand Just very very down to earth the price point on these bags he could easily raise the price points because of their popularity but he isn't and I I just think that that's beautiful what, what he's doing and his ready to wear actually really has my attention as well I, I actually like it more than the bags quite honestly I'm very very interested to see like the evolution of Telfar I mentioned to many people that I really thought that Louis Vuitton would tap him to be the creative director of Louis Vuitton uh, I still think that that might end up being a possibility at some point uh, he has really, really amazing ideas. I love that he has pretty much excused himself from New York Fashion Week. I love that. I love that he's doing things very much on his own. It makes me like his brand more, that he's just not, you know, falling in line to what's expected of him to do. And he's just kind of made his own rules. I think that that is a brilliant strategy and like I said I'm looking very much forward to seeing what comes from Telfar in, in the upcoming years but so far I have really enjoyed using this bag this part looks very this is made out of I think it's called neoprene is the material that this is made out of so like a backpack material now when I use this I don't typically wear it this way I tend to wear it this way I just prefer it that way with and then sometimes seeing some of that yellow peek out but it has been a very very joyful bag to wear i want to say this also that this year i feel very like liberated because i i am not in pursuit or i'm not chasing anything from chanel or from louis vuitton and so i've been having like a lot of fun with contemporary designer it's been a lot of fun and i think that if you guys love handbags and want to start to feel a little bit more joy with your handbag purchases join me over here interesting pieces that are available out for us for all of us to enjoy and so i am going to do a video on contemporary bags that i'm loving this one is definitely one of them so my iphone plus fits in here without a case if it's just fine not even like lopsided it fits just fine my key case some mints this is very compartmentalized already i don't find the need to like let's say use my o pouch but so the o pouch looks like this when it's sitting up 
and I don't think way as well, but I don't believe I am going to be able to get my my key case in there. If I do that, it's gonna be kind of absurd. I haven't used this with my pouch. I have, again, my phone, my keys, my mints. I have a compact, my Saint Laurent card case, lip gloss. And we are good to go. And I still have room in there, you guys. I can still put something else. Um, I did go ahead and put my my Gucci balm in here because I just think it looks pretty there. And again, the really cute aspect of this is how utilitarian it looks. And specifically with this design, I loved how it cross bodies and the strap comes off. So this is like a winning combination for me this was the perfect health bar one for me and like i said i hope he does this a little bit more and that he i would love to see additional material that he's using because i know he does a lot of vegan leather i would love to see an actual leather one again with removable straps i would i would not mind having a couple of these but again that is the problem with contemporary bags that i end up with multiples and I, I just don't have that kind of space you guys this it showed up this way now i don't know if that's part of the design i don't know if you could see i don't know if it's dirt i don't know or if it's the inside like netting or something that's there i i don't get it but i don't really care it didn't bother me but i did think it was strange let me know if you have one and yours looks like this. That is everything I wanted to say about this. I wanted to talk about one additional brand or another item that I picked up that I had never from a brand that I've never purchased are these really super cool sneakers from Ivy Park. And the appeal of these uh, are, these are uh, Ivy Park and Adidas and i just thought that they were so cool they come in a couple of colors i really consider buying the blue um i just think that they are so cool and they really reminded me of my prada loafers that was really the catalyst as to me purchasing these this like really big platform I call them crawlers before they're creepers and I've always loved this style of shoe and I re I haven't worn them because I wanted to uh, discuss them before but I can see me easily reaching for these because I have been reaching a lot for my Prada loafers and so I just think that these with like a skirt or a dress are, are they're just like really really cool and I I purchased these actually through Poshmark for um eighty dollars or something like that i was surprised and I, I wanted to talk about that just a little bit because there's a lot of similarities to b both of these brands where like a huge hype when a new collection drops of either one and so a lot of people purchase these items with the intention of reselling them and so a lot of the stock kind of disappears but it isn't necessarily like it's really gone i think people are just trying to make a buck and so so you can often find like what they are not able to sell on poshmark for cheaper or the people bring these back and then somebody finds them at a nordstrom rack for less and I, I think that that's how I ended up with these for so for su such a good price because I, I know that they're close to $200 retail but um, because that's something that happens frequently I think that sometimes even though things sell out check back later you may end up seeing it because people overbuy these wanting to resell them and sometimes the market it's very hard to understand the the true market of uh, like some of these pieces because there there's this like rush to buy all the stock right so it would be nice to to see I mean, and that obviously happens with chanel and, and with a lot of different brands as well louis vuitton and stuff 
but yeah I, I managed to score these on Poshmark and I'm thrilled with these these are so cool I, I'm obsessed with these and um, like I said I've been considering the blue I've never purchased anything from Ivy Park ever and like I said it's kind of nice to test out new brands and these are two that I'm uh, literally I bought these both and I'm completely obsessed with both of them so there is that so that is all I wanted to discuss today you guys I really appreciate you guys watching and I will chat with you guys later bye